Hey, Popcorn Kid Crew. I have a special dedication today. Today, I'm going to dedicate Dora and the Unicorn King to Little Lips. I met Little Lips on YouTube. Her dad is amazing. He told me I could dedicate a book to her. So today, Little Lips, this is for you. And I hope you enjoy the story. Lips, thank you so much for dedicating, for letting me dedicate this story to Little Lips. And thank you so much for your kindness. Friends, you can find Lips at L-L-I-P-S. We both believe in positivity and we both enjoy our YouTube family. Thank you, Lips, for letting me share this story with Little Lips. Are you ready? Well, before we get started, we want to make sure that you affirmed yourself today. Did you tell yourself that you were the greatest? Let me hear you. You know what you have to say. Let me hear you. I am the greatest. Did you say it? Miss V, I am the greatest. Come on, little lips. Let me hear you. I am the greatest. Excellent. Oh my gosh, how many of you love Dora books? I love Dora books. They're so much fun. And she always takes us on adventures. And this time, it's with a unicorn. And you guys, look what I've discovered. These are, can you see? They're called unicorn tears. I don't know if some people might not like this, but I got to share it with you. Look at do you see what that's? Oh my God. Should I even say what it is? I'll whisper. This is unicorn poop. Oh, it is. That's what. And this is even nastier. Can you see what this, this is? Let me see it. Camo camera. Do you see it? still want to hear this story oh my gosh little lips I'll send you all of these cuz I don't want them do you want them they're unicorn tears unicorn poop and unicorn boogers <gasps> girl do you want these well you let me know and they're all yours I don't want them okay let's get started Dora and the Unicorn King. This is great. Let's see what happens, guys. This is going to be fun. Hi. I am Dora. This is Boots. We take a walk. We meet our friend Unicornio. There is a door. We see a rabbit with a letter. Look, you see Boots. Boots is so cute. Look at the unicorn. Hey, what do you think the rabbit has with that letter? What's in the letter? Ready to find out together? Let's see. This letter is for Unicornio, the enchanted forest. Animals want Unicornio to be their king. We must go to the castle and get Unicornio's crown. <gasps> They're going to go to the castle. That's going to be a fun adventure. Look at everybody. Look at Boots. That's a beautiful unicorn. Do you like unicorns? Do you like my unicorn hat? you like that? I got it just for you. Little Lips, do you like my unicorn hat? You can have it if you want. We'll share it. There's so many more unicorn stories to read. I'm so happy to dedicate this to you, Little Lips. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, Little Lips, let's share this with other kids also just in case. They like the story too. Do you mind? I just thought about that. All right, here we go. But Unicornio thinks he is not kind 
smart, brave, or strong like a king. Hmm. We can show Unicornio that he can be a king. Good idea. We're going to show him everything he has inside of him. And he's got what it takes to be a king. We can do that together. You've got what it takes to. You know why? Because you're the greatest. I'm sneaking a kiss in before we end the story. How do we find the castle? Look at them. They're all thinking and they're happy. We're going to find that castle because we want him to be the new king. Right? Map says we need to go through the riddle tree. We need to go past the volcano. Then we will be at the castle. Look at that great map. I love maps. Maps help us locate where we need to go. There's so many great maps we can use now. There's MapQuest. There's Waze. There's Google Maps. You've probably seen your parents using those when they're driving and trying to find where they're going. Oh my goodness, these little things. They ain't getting in the way. Little Lips, do you want these things? Because I'm going to have to. Oh my goodness. Unicorn tears and unicorn buggers. Oh my God. Okay, let's get back to the story. On our way to the riddle tree, we see elves. One is too small. He cannot reach peaches. Wow, elves. I thought elves came out at Christmas. Well, this is a special occasion, so elves it is. Who can help the elf? Unicornio. Unicornio is kind, just like a king. Oh, look. Unicornio helped the elf. He's going to help the elf get some peaches. Mm. I sure would like a peach right now, wouldn't you? Maybe I'll get some popcorn. You want some popcorn? Here. We share treats. You want some popcorn? Anytime you want it, you just say so. It's there for you, okay? Anytime you're ready. We make it to the riddle tree. We need to answer the tree's riddle. Do you know what a riddle is? I used to tell silly, silly, silly riddles when I was little and nobody thought they were funny but me. Have you ever done that? I think I still tell riddles and nobody think they're funny. Who can solve this riddle? Unicornio, cause Unicornio is smart, just like a king. This is beautiful. They're making Unicornio feel better. There is a volcano. There is a dragon too. Oh, a dr oh my goodness. A dr look at that dragon. What's gonna happen guys? Unicornio makes a shield with his horn. We need to stomp our feet to make a really big shield. They're stomping their feet. Look at Unicornio. He's getting into position to protect his friends from the dragon. What would you do if a dragon popped out of nowhere? What would you do, guys? We make a big shield. It stops the dragon. Unicornio is brave, just like a king. Look at there. He's protecting his friends. The dragon can't do anything because there's a shield around them. I love it. It looks like a rainbow, doesn't it? With sparkles and sprinkles. It's beautiful. Good job, Unicornio. He is brave. Just like a king. Near the castle, we see a squirrel in the river. We help the squirrel. Oh no, look. Look at the squirrel. Well, how'd the squirrel get in the river anyway? Look, they tossed a life preserver to him. Look at that ring. The ring is going to help the squirrel 
get out of the water and they're going to save the squirrel. Look at Boots. Everybody's happy. That's definitely what a king would do. Hey guys, what's this up here? They're on their way to the castle. Oh, I like this story. Do you like it? Lips, are you there? Do you like it? Unicornio saves the squirrel. He is strong, just like a king. Yay! Everybody's happy. Look at the cute little squirrel. Everybody's happy. They're cheering. Yay! Look at Boots. Excellent. We have to tell that squirrel to be careful from now on. Right? Be careful when you're near the water. Unicornio is kind, smart, brave, and strong. He is a true king. The end. It's a wonderful story. Look, he has on his crown. Everybody's happy. Yes, it's awesome. Little Lips, did you enjoy this story? I hope you did. Let me know what you think. And our other Popcorn Kit crew, if you'd like some stories, Miss V would love to share some stories with you. This was fun today. And hey, don't forget about what the unicorn left for us. If you want them, you can have them. These are tears, unicorn tears. Unicorn boogers. I'm telling you the truth. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. What in the world? Well, as always, Miss V sends peace and love. Ooh, this thing is. I send a hug. And a kiss. Go out and kiss someone. No, let me change that. I'm sorry, guys. Go out and kiss your mommy, daddy, brother, sister, auntie, un uncle, grandma, grandpa, family members. I'm. So don't go kiss anybody. Miss V just made a mistake right there. I take it back. Don't do that. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And it's so much fun to be real and to share with my friends. Send some love back to Miss V. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you real soon. See you guys. Thanks for joining me. Peace.